Don't let the failure of your hard drive come as a surprise. Here's a small tool that might help you. Before we start installing, I'm just going to grab the latest packages. I usually do this before I install any packages to make sure you got the latest ones. Yeah, everything's alright. Now, do as PKG install Smart Mon Tools. And I've already installed it, so it's telling me that. But if you hadn't, you would. it's not a very large install. I clear the screen. Now I'm just going to keep in at root for a minute because uh, most of the commands require that. To get a list of drives on your system, just cam control dev list and it will list ADA 0, 1, 2, 3. It depends on how many you've got. We're not going to include the USBs at DA0. We're just going to include the uh, ADAs. And the one that we really want to check on this occasion is ADA0, which is the boot drive. So if you do SMART CTL hyphen I and then the drive we want and it will fetch up a small bit of information about the drive how it's configured etc quite useful information if you need to report an incident with your drive if you do smart control hyphen a and then do the same drive you'll get a lot of information uh, probably too much to see we could scroll up but especially if you just pipe it into less there we go so there's the information bit before if you just keep on pressing key you get all lots of information about possible uh, errors occurring, etc. And uh, it's really useful. If you want to configure SmartMon tools to send an email to you if uh, it gets wind of any trouble happening, just copy over the sample configuration file and rename it smartdconf and edit that file. And what we're going to do is just going to look for a particular oh that's right you just comment out that and it'll allow you to then specify on this one here if you change the SDC to ADA0 or whichever drive you want we're going to change them switches we're going to keep in M I think uh, so hyphen A to run the full gamut of information and put in a put in, a, put in an email you could put your own uh, this is just for example but usually it's the best if you uh, send it to a local uh, email and then we save that and then we tell the computer to start smart mon tools or smart d the daemon next time we boot so smart d underscore enable there we go and this also enables us to uh, start and stop it manually now now that we've got that entry in the rc.conf so service smart d start we're starting it you can guess what it is to uh, restart if you want to get the status to check whether it's running or not and if you want to stop it obviously it's all pretty simple straightforward and we'll just start it again to make sure it's all running and that's it. Um, hopefully that helped. It's just a small video. Thanks very much for watching. And we'll catch you next time.